Hello and welcome to another Wuthering Waves video. I just reached Union level 45 and yeah that means if you go to events here and to the Awakening Journey then I can finally claim the weapon box here, a free 5 star weapon and also 1000 asteroid on top which is really nice. So now I have a choice between all the standard banner 5 star weapons but actually I also have 50 standard banner pulls as you can see here so what I've decided to do is um, that before I actually choose a weapon from the box I'm gonna try to first get a weapon from the gacha specifically the sword as you can see I already chose the sword here as my targeted weapon Emerald of Genesis it's called and yeah 80 pulls would be a guarantee so it's not quite there um, so only very low chance of actually seeing a 5 star here but I at least wanna try Maybe I can get lucky, you know? And if I don't, then I just choose the sword from the free weapon box. And if I do get lucky and actually get the sword from the gacha, then I'm free to choose a different weapon from the box. I don't know which weapon I'll choose then, I haven't decided it yet. Um, but yeah, let's just first see if we even can get the sword from the gacha. And I'm definitely gonna give it to Sanwa, um, since she's my main. And yeah, she deserves to get a 5 star weapon. So yeah, I've been excited to get to Union level 45 for quite a while, so I can finally upgrade my Sanwa from a 4-star weapon to a 5-star weapon. But yeah, that being said, let's just do the rolls now. First temple, here we go. Hey, okay, purple, that is expected. There are also a bunch of 4-star weapons I'm still missing, so maybe can get some of those here. Instead we get Taoji. Okay, that's um, S1, I think. Yeah, it's my second Taoji. Actually not too mad about this, I kind of like her. Oh, and also uh, I should have probably mentioned that before, but I am at basically zero pity. Um, so now 10 pity after this first temple. Because I haven't done any rolls on this banner before this video. But yeah, um, let's just continue with the second tempo now. Still Forster. Yeah, like I said, there's only a very low probability of actually getting an early 5-star here. So I'm not really expecting it, but I at least wanted to try. The question is, what 4-star are we getting here? And this is gonna be the last pull again. Hachi again? <laughs> what the heck? Hidden Raider? Question mark? Okay, um, well, I did not expect this. It's kind of funny that I got the same 4-star character two times in a row on the weapon banner. Yeah, as far as I know, um, all the 4-star characters and weapons here have the same chance of appearing, so that was kind of really lucky getting the same one two times. But like I said, I would really like some more different 4-star weapons that I don't have yet. We still have 30 pulls, so it's still a chance get some Forster weapons and hopefully not just get a Forster on the 10th pull every time because that's Forster pity basically. Let me get some early Forsters please. Okay that's actually an early funny and new weapon. I don't really use that many gunners though so <laughs> I don't know about this. But you know for the future it's probably nice to have a few more options. Okay, um, second to last tempo. Is it gonna be a 5-star? Nope. So now we only have one more chance to actually get a 5-star here. Can we get two 4-stars in the same tempo for once? Luna Cutter, already have that. I think that's actually the weapon that I have currently on Sanwa. Probably gonna give it to um, Rover after Sanwa gets the 5 star weapon, because I kinda do wanna build Havoc Rover. But yeah, um, we're at the end now. Last tempo. If there isn't a 5 star in this one, then that means we failed. Okay, yeah. So no 5 star weapon from the gacha. That's what the box is for. The 5 star weapon box. Another one?! What? There actually is a hidden rate up. What the heck? Three Taojis? That is ridiculous. How? 
Why was she the only character I got on this banner and three times at that? The probability for that is so low, probably lower than actually getting an early 5 star. Okay. So yeah, these pulls were special in some way at least. But yeah, no 5 star weapon for me on the gacha here today. But yeah, so let's just open the box now. And there are three white bands here. Um, okay. Use. Um, Emerald of Genesis. Yes, please. Confirm. There we go. Oh, that's such a good sword. It has crit rate as its substat and it also increases energy region and attack by casting resonance skill, which you want to do with Sunno anyway. Yeah, so basically it's just a very good all-rounder weapon. Really happy that I finally got this now. And I don't think I have enough mats actually to um, level it up to the same level as Sunno's current weapon, which yeah, is the Lunar Cutter, as I already said. But um, I want to put it on her anyway, just to see the drip. What does it look on her? Oh, it's so cool. I love this sword. Really awesome weapon. Let's see how far I can get it before I run out of materials. Okay, we can ascend it once. First ascension is basically free. Okay, it's level 40 now. And yeah, <laughs> already ran out of materials. I have to farm some more of these here. Um, but I think I do have enough wave plates to do some farming. So you know what? Let's actually do that right now. Oh, actually I don't have enough. <laughs> Only 34. But of course I am going to level up this weapon ASAP. As soon as I got some wave plates again. I'm gonna focus on this weapon until it's like at least level 60, maybe even level 70. And then my Sanwa is gonna be better than ever. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.